So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the CARS protocol. And this is an important tool for you to have to be able to evaluate sources. Now, what does it mean to evaluate sources? To evaluate is to figure out the value of something, whether it's good and useful. And you have to evaluate sources when you research. And as we've talked about in the classroom, researching is one key to becoming an independent, mature human being. This is part of becoming an adult learner and being able really to learn for the rest of your life, whatever it is you want to learn. If you can research, you can learn whatever you want to learn. And you know that you can't trust everyone and every source of information, so you have to evaluate your sources always. So what is CARS then? The C stands for credible. To be credible is to be believable. Right? Do you trust that the source comes from people who know what they're talking about? And are they experts? Are they biased for or against something? And, and we've talked in previous classes about tone. Um, and this is a part of the SOAPS reading strategy that we're going to look at later in the year. We've looked at it a little bit, but you know we're certainly going to look at that a lot more as the year goes on. So tone can give you a big uh, clue as to whether something's credible. Uh, have has the source or have the people who've created the source have they conducted the research themselves and if they have have they conducted the surveys or experiments properly sometimes data can look very good and then when we look and see that the experiment or the survey wasn't done very well then we realize that the source is not credible the A stands for accurate to be accurate it has to be detailed and well researched and so you should look to see does the source explain where it got its information from and does the source have good citations or a good uh, works cited page or bibliography? And finally, does it give you a lot of clear information or does it skim over a lot? Is the source relevant? Right? To be relevant, it has to be related to the driving question that your instructor has given you or your own research question. And, and the second part there is the better, right? If, if it is relevant to your own purposes. And so you're constantly asking, what's the connection? Does this source connect to my purposes? Um, does it answer one of your driving questions? And does it open up new questions that, you, that should add to your research? Right? We've looked at, this year at using KWL plus charts. Right? The more questions in that W column the source can answer, the more relevant it is. And finally, is the source sufficient? Right? This means is there enough there? Does the source answer all of your questions? Or if you combine it with the other sources you have, are your questions answered? Do you have enough detail to convince yourself or your audience of the truth of your argument? If you do, then you have a sufficient source or a su sufficient number of sources. Finally, do you have enough ideas to produce your deliverable, whether it's an essay or a presentation or a debate? Is there enough there? Right. That's the sufficient part. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, remember that this video goes along with the annotated bibliography video. And, and these are two key components to our, our research project here. Thanks.